Dogs and royals have a very long joint history. Whether hounds have been appearing in ceremonies, guarding their imperial owners, going on hunts, or snuggling in the royal lap, they've been a strong part of royal life all over the world for centuries. In this video we have listed 10 royal dog breeds. Akitas. The Akita Inu breed originated in Japan, and these big dogs with proud temperaments are known to have been favorites with the Japanese imperial elite over several centuries. In the Edo period of the 17th and 18th centuries, Akitas were only allowed to be owned by shoguns for the purpose of hunting bears and other large game. The Emperor Taisho was photographed with his own Akitas in 1899, and the breed was declared of national importance and became available for everybody in the early 20th century. 9. Pembroke Welsh Corgi A breed well known and much loved by the Queen of England, who has maintained a breeding program for many years, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi traces its origin back to the 1100s. A friendly and active dog, the Pembroke was brought to England by Flemish and kept in the home of Henry I. Though the breed shares its background, and many of its traits, with the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, the Pembroke is actually a much younger breed than the Cardigan. 8. Greyhound One of the most ancient breeds known to man. The history of the Greyhound can be traced to nearly every country around the globe. While aristocracy has always surrounded the breed, in its early development, only royalty bred them, England played an important role in the development of the breed, with first illustrations of the Greyhound there dating back to the 9th century. A sighthound used to hunt a variety of game including deer, stags, foxes and hares. Greyhounds also have been used as racing dogs since the 18th century. A lively, gentle breed, the breed's most valued trait today is its companionship. 7. Shizu Though the exact date of origin of the Shizu is unknown, evidence of its existence has appeared in documents, paintings, and art from the Tang Dynasty. Bred in the city of Peking by Chinese court, the Shizu is also said to be the oldest and smallest of the Tibetan holy dogs. The breed was also the preferred house pet of the Ming Dynasty and Dowager Empress Qixi. A small, playful dog, the Shih Tzu's long, luxurious coat requires regular grooming. 6. Great Pyrenees Known as La Grande Chen de Montagne, the big dog of the mountains, or the Pyrenean mountain dog, the Great Pyrenees was adopted as a French court dog in the 17th century. Known as both a royal breed and a working associate of peasant shepherds on the slopes of the Pyrenees Mountains, the breed is exceptionally loyal and gentle and is said to be fearless as a guardian of its people and flock. 5. Pekingese An ancient Chinese breed that was owned exclusively by royalty, the penalty for stealing a Pekingese was death. The Pekingese has appeared in Chinese art and history throughout the ages, beginning with the Tang Dynasty of the 8th century. Originally named after the ancient city of Peking, the Pekingese came to Europe as a result of war. When the British overtook the Chinese Imperial Palace in 1860, they returned home with several of the dogs. Happy, lovable and loyal, the Pekingese makes a wonderful lap dog. 4. Cotton de Delir A small, friendly dog that thrives on human companionship. The Cotton de Delir is known as the Royal Dog of Madagascar. The breed originated there in the 17th century and was kept exclusively by noblemen, known as the Marina, the ruling monarchy in Madagascar. The Canton Batelier is a loving and happy companion, but does require regular grooming to maintain its soft, dense coat. 3. Labrador Retrievers Queen Elizabeth II's father, King George VI, loved big hunting dogs, and was particularly fond of Labrador Retrievers. He started to breed them at the royal estates in Sandringham and Balmoral in 1911, and treated them both as working dogs and as pets. Labradors have remained part of the royal household of hunting dogs at the estates ever since, and won a lot of awards for their skill. 2. Bichon Frise The Bichon Frise the royal lap warmer, and they're not wrong. These little white fluff balls began to be adopted by European royalty in the 13th century and show up in portraits of royal women men and children for centuries, often fabulously attired. 
It's reported that King Henry III of France loved them so much that he kept a few around his neck in a little ribbon adorned basket. 1. Japanese Chin Originally developed for the sole purpose of accompanying the ladies of the imperial palace and warming the laps of Chinese aristocracy, the Japanese chin's history is steeped in royalty. Bred to live in the literal lap of luxury and passed from China to Japan as part of a royal gift. Graceful, quiet and fastidious self-groomers, the chin is also distinctly feline. These are smart, sensitive, occasionally stubborn little humanoids who are quick to learn.